Keith, on this edition of the uh, Gatekeeper, boys will be boys. And what I mean by that is during the tours, Molly Hatchett obviously spent a lot of time on the road with all of their bandmates and the crew, you. But obviously they've got to try to find some way to amuse themselves, so to speak. And I'm sure you've got some very interesting stories to tell. Uh, we're playing in West Virginia at a field house at a university. And uh, it so happens I'm walking, and this is after Molly Hatchett played, I'm walking back to the dressing room. And then there's Danny, Dwayne, Steve, uh, Mike Cavanis, a uh, crew member, and uh, Mike Ka uh, Kaufman, a crew member. And I'm going inside the dressing room. All of a sudden, Danny grabs me from behind and somebody else grabs me around my waist. And then all of a sudden I see this roll of black duct tape coming out and it's starting from the from my upper torso down through the, my lower torso and down through my legs. Next thing I know, they're picking me up and carrying me to the stage. Just a normal day in the life of Molly Hatchett. <laughs> I guess they were bored and wanted something to do, you know, so. <laughs> now there's, uh, there's gotta be some other interesting stories that you can tell because I mean, obviously these boys from Jacksonville and the boys from Tampa, Florida. I mean, they've been on the road quite a bit right now, and, and obviously they've gotten a real good kinship going, but I'm sure there's gotta be some interesting stories about life on the road. But before you tell us this story, Keith, I, I just wanna, I wanna show you, I, I, I'm gonna have some cream pie. <laughs> I, I, hope you, I hope you don't mind. What can you tell me about life on the road with Molly Hatchett and the Outlaws? After they throw me on stage, uh, the uh, the Outlaws crew pick me up and tear me off. Well, after the Outlaws finally played their last song, they come back off stage. And what has happened in the interim while they were playing their their set is the band and crew of Molly Hatchet got all the road cases that we packed our instruments and uh, sound gear in and put them around like a half moon coming out of the backstage area. And what we did that afternoon was we went to a grocery store and bought 100 cream pies. So we had them there and we were hiding behind the road cases. So when the outlaws came out, we were just gonna bombard them with, with uh, chocolate cream, lemon cream, you know, any kind of cream pie there was. And uh, Ron, it just, uh, it turned out to be a messy mess. You know, it's people don't realize that They've just seen a concert. They've just seen a fabulous concert with the Outlaws and Molly Hatchett. They're now going home. They're probably in their cars. They're listening to the cassettes. They're probably listening to the latest Molly Hatchett album. And, you know, unbeknownst to the crowd that's just enjoyed a concert, backstage, this massive pie fight with these two bands are going on. Luckily, their crew members took their guitars from them before they went into the backstage area. Because once they walked in that backstage area, you could imagine the grease from the pies, everybody slipping, falling down, and having one hell of a time. So basically what you're saying is that, you know, bands, obviously, as, as we've always heard, have, you know, thrown TVs out of hotel rooms, have done, and I think Molly Hatchett's done that, yes, uh, and I, has done other little crazy things, but when it comes to pie fights, Molly Hatchett and the Outlaws probably hold the record. The, the only bad thing about it is somebody had to pay to clean up this mess. Yeah, well, I was, I was going to ask you that question. Who, who, had to, who, pay, who ended up paying for the, uh, for the backstage cleaning bill, uh, Mr., uh, Mr. Johnson? Uh, well, uh, See it that the uh, boys from Molly Hatchet brought the pies. The uh, it was uh, it was a uh, a fine that we had to pay uh, to the uh, to the venue there. So, uh, but with that being said, Ron, all I can say is stand by from Studio One J for more episodes of the Gatekeeper. Stand by. <laughs> All right.